Ahoy, me hearties. As some of you may know, I've taken up sailing as a hobby. And tomorrow is the first day of sailing season here in Washington, D.C. So I'll be going out on the water, and I have an endless fascination of all things nautical and the sea. So today what I thought I'd do is give you a list of five remarkable seafaring adventures. Okay, I usually do fiction on this podcast, but today is going to be a mix of fiction and nonfiction because when you're dealing with the ocean, uh, there's, there's so much potential for adventure that you don't really need to fictionalize it. The true stories are just as exciting. So I'm starting off with number five, Around the World Single-Handed by Harry Pigeon. This is a true story. A man who built his own boat sailed around the world by himself uh, on this little boat, the Islander, the cruise of the Islander, it says. Uh, this is kind of a little bit of a lightweight one for this list. There's not a lot of drama. There's not a lot of, um, you know, harrowing near-death experiences. It's a pleasant cruise around the world where he talks a lot about all the people he meets and the things he sees and the various South Sea islands. A lot of just the, the fun aspect of sailing. So that's a, a nice kind of gentle introduction to these seafaring stories. But I'm impressed with anyone who can make it all the way around the world in a small boat by themselves. It's a daunting task. And uh, it's always entertaining to read those stories. So number five, Harry Pigeon, Around the World Single-Handed, The Cruise of the Islander. Number four, okay, you've heard me talk about Herman Melville before, but he is sort of the king of the seafaring story. He wrote lots of books. Um, his first three books were basically travelogues of his own experiences sailing around the world um, in various capacities in the Navy and as a whaling, uh, on a whaling ship. This is the second volume of the Library of America collection. It collects three novels. Redburn, White Jacket, and Moby Dick. Moby Dick is too obvious, so I'm going to go with White Jacket on this one. They're all good, you know, seafaring stories. Uh, I like White Jacket. I think it's very exciting. It's got a lot going on. It's not nearly as uh, dark and heavy and ponderous as Moby Dick, which I, Moby Dick is one of my favorite novels ever. But in terms of just raw sea adventure, I think White Jacket is really good. Redburn is also good. So that's my number four pick. Number three is The Sea Wolf by Jack London. Here again, I have the Library of America collection of all his novels. And most of his books take place in the far north and are about wolves and dogs and things like that. Most people know him for, but he wrote a fantastic seafaring adventure called The Sea Wolf, which is a, features an evil villainous captain and a kind of young, naive uh, seafarer who gets caught on this boat and there's a lot of drama in it, a lot of very exciting stuff. Jack London writes with real momentum, and he propels the story forward, and you find you can't put it down. So The Sea Wolf is a great one. That's my number three pick. Number two, this is another nonfiction. This is A Voyage for Mad Men. Now, this is a true story of a race that was organized by a newspaper for individuals in small boats to sail around the world by themselves. Uh, they organized the race. They put up contest money for it, and seven people undertook the voyage. Only one of them made it all the way. It is an awesome read. It is so exciting. It's totally true, but it reads like fiction. It, there's so many crazy twists and turns to it, so much adventure. Uh, this is by uh, Peter Nichols. It's the, a lot of the individual participants in the race have their own accounts of it, their own books, but this is kind of a summation of all of them. And there's just so much crazy stuff that happens. I don't want to spoil it for you because you know, what happens at the ending is so shocking and so surprising if you haven't read it you'll be blown away by it. It's, it's more exciting than any fictional book I've ever read. Great read. A Voyage for Mad Men, Peter Nichols. It's my number two pick. And finally, number one, a classic among seafaring books, one that everyone who sails should read. It's Sailing Alone Around the World by Joshua Slocum. Now, this is a, a really nice hardcover edition with illustrations, but you can get a nice cheap one as well. It's been out around for a long time. I think it might be public domain, but it's a true account uh, yet again, another uh, seafarer who built his own boat, sailed it all the way around the world by himself. Very detailed, um, and it's so much excitement, so much adventure. You never know what's going to happen. It's constantly on the verge of death and peril, uh, but thrilling. You know, a wonderful story. Uh, again, it reads like fiction because it's so exciting and so great. I think anyone who's ever wants to set foot on, the, on a boat and go out on the ocean should read Sailing Alone Around the World, Captain Joshua Slocum. 
That's my number one pick for seafaring adventures. And then finally, I wanted to mention, uh, honorable mention, the Horatio Hornblower series by C.S. Forrester. Uh, I didn't single out any one book in this series because there's a bunch of them and they're all great nautical tales. They're a little more military focused, so there's more emphasis on war and uh, fighting, but there's, they all take place on the ocean and so there's so much good uh, seafaring adventure there too. So I didn't want to single out a single book, but the entire series, Horatio, Horatio Hornblower, uh, great nautical tales if you want to read those. So there you have it, my top five seafaring adventures for summer. Uh, I'm sure there are plenty of other ones out there. If you have recommendations, feel free to let me know in the comments. Until next time, I've been Logan Albright. Happy sailing, and please subscribe to my channel. Have a good one.